brothers and sisters. We have this weekly meeting and our goal from this meeting is to understand more and more the straight way as-sirat al-mustaqim. This straight way is not something we can take it or leave it. It is not something adding something to our good deeds or decreasing from our good deeds. As-sirat al-mustaqim, it is your life or your death. As-sirat al-mustaqim, it is your good life in this dunya and akhirah or a bad life in this dunya and akhirah. It's a happy life in this dunya and akhirah or it's unhappy and worse life in this dunya and akhirah. If someone die when he is on as-sirat al-mustaqim, he will be in the akhirah on as-sirat al-mustaqim. And, he, and if he is away from as-sirat al-mustaqim, in akhirah he will be away from as-sirat al-mustaqim. The people today misunderstanding the concept of as-sirat al-mustaqim. Furthermore, Allah insists to us every day, ask us, order us to ask him why, because it is very important. At least every day we ask Allah 17 times, guide us to as-sirat al-mustaqim. But after the dua, we have to search, we have to know, we have to look to the people who are on as-sirat al-mustaqim to follow them. Allah Azza wa Jal give us many great examples about great people, about chosen people. Allah chose them to be signed on as-sirat al-mustaqim, not only to their family, not only to their city, but for all the humanity, for all the humanity from Adam alayhi salam to the day of judgment. And Allah told us about them as a verses in the Quran, as a signs in the Quran. And we started with them. And today we reach one of amazing hero of a humanity, one of amazing raw medal of a humanity, one who was a lot of effect, a lot of influence for a lot of a human nowadays. This hero or this great character or this prophet is an amazing. His life has a special starting. No one know about him. Also his mother, also his father. But his life is starting when a delegation of angels came to the earth and met his father and his mother and gave them the good news, gave them the good tidings. Yes, the story starting in Surah Hud, ayah number 69, when Allah Azza wa Jal told us about this great event. At that time, there is no YouTube, there is no Google, there is, but Allah give us the real information. وَلَقَدْ جَاءَتْ رُسُلُنَا إِبْرَاهِيمَ بِالْبُشْرَى Our angels, our messengers, bring to Abraham the good news, the good tidings. قَالُوا mm-hmm. سَلَامًا And they said, peace. Peace. This is the regard of the angels. Peace is the regard of Allah Azza wa Jal. The regard of the Prophet. The regard of Islam. Peace, he said. Peace and did not delay in bringing to them a roasted calf. And when he watched them, they didn't eat from it, he feared from them. And they told him, uh, don't fear. We are coming to punish the people of Lut. We are coming to uh, punish the people of Lut. And this is ayah number 70 in Surah Hud. And in this ayah, we will have very important thing. Two great events. One full of khair and full of benefit. The other one destroy 
completely to great city, destroy completely to a nation. Yes, the same angels carry both of this good news and this destroying news. And this is how Allah Azza wa Jal treat humanity. Who is good? Who is doing well? Who is going on a sirat mustaqim? Allah reward him. Who is not? Allah will punish him. But there is a difference between punishment and between destroy. Some people going in a problem, going in accident, and he die. And his life is very bad. So this is very bad sign for this person who spend his life in bad things and end his life with an accident and directly he died in this accident or in this event or in this situation. Two important things. One is completely positive. One is completely destroying to the nation. And in this situation, in Ayah 71, Allah told us about the wife of Ibrahim, Sarah. When the angels told about the new tidings, the new and good news, she started to laugh because the news that you will have a child. You will have a child. So we uh, gave her good news about her son Isaac, Ishaq. Isaac in English, Ishaq in Arabic. And after Ishaq, you will have Jacob, or who is Israel. So now the uh, angels give us the news. Now they announce about what? About a prophet. About what? About leader to humanity. About what? About one of the stars in the heaven of the calling to Allah, in the heaven of prophecy, in the heaven of relation between human and God, between servant and God. They gave good tidings for a person will have a lot of a great prophet and messengers. His son will be Jesus, will be Moses, will be David, will be a lot and a lot will be Joseph, Yusuf, will be Israel and the children of Israel. He is Ishaq. This is the good news. And this good news brought by the angels to his mother, to his father, Abraham, alayhim as-salam. So, his mother said, oh, woe to me. How could I birth? while I am an old woman. This is ayah number 72 in Surah Hud. أَأَلِدُ وَأَنَا عَجُوزٌ عَقِيمٌ And my husband is old man. This is indeed an amazing thing. For this reason, she start to laugh. And this is the meaning of Isaac. Isaac is the one who smile, the one who laughed. For So his name coming from the reaction of his mother when she has the news that she will have she will have Ishaq and the angels answer did you are you amazed at the uh, mercy of Allah at the decree of Allah may the mercy of Allah and his blessing be upon you people of the house Ahl al -bayt. so the angels told her Are you uh, amazed from the mercy of Allah, from the generosity of Allah? Allah is the all mercy. Allah is the all generous. But the reality, we don't know. But the re reality, we lose the hope in this generosity and in this mercy. We forget. We are many times ghafilin from his mercy, from his generosity. We have a problem. We have a lot of things. But we forget to ask him. We have to ask him and ask him and ask him. We have to keep Allah Azza wa Jal uh, love the servant who keep asking. 
Yes, keep nagging. Oh Allah, give. Oh Allah, help me. Oh Allah, uh, uh, remove this from me. Oh Allah, oh Allah, oh Allah. Some of those keep making dua until the angels, until the angels said, Oh Allah, help him. Oh Allah, give him what he wants. Uh, because they, they, they feel sorrow about him. How amazing. How amazing these pictures. How amazing this situation. Who are the people in this level nowadays? Nowadays, if someone has some thing with a person, he keep calling, he keep calling, he keep... But he forget to ask Allah Azza wa Jal. So they ask here, are you amazed at the degree of Allah? Are you amazed from the mercy of Allah? May Allah bless you, the family, the people of the house, Al al -bayt. Al al -bayt. who are Al al -bayt? Al al -bayt are the family of the Prophet. Those are Al al -bayt. And who are those? Al al -bayt are the people who are on the straight way. The people who has this connection with Allah. Not only the people when, uh, who has the blood relation, but if they are righteous and they are on the straight way and they have the blood relation, this is, will be Nuron over the Noor. It's, it will be more Noor. It will be more blessing. But if it is, if I am from the family of, uh, my, my name is uh, any career, that doesn't mean in, uh, I, I am uh, directly will be the same. Some, uh, uh, in, in our country, they told the, the doctor uh, wise, Al-Hakim, the wise man. And there is a family calling a wise man. That doesn't mean if you are from this family that you are a doctor. This is just a word. This is just a name. But you have to act according to this word and this name. أَتَعْجَبِينَ مِنْ أَمْرِ اللَّهِ رَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ عَلَيْكُمْ أَهْلَ الْبَيْتِ A lot of mercy from Allah Azza wa Jal. A lot of blessing from Allah Azza wa Jal to all of you, the people of the house. The people of uh, great relation to the human. The people who build the story of religion. Who build the story of Iman. Who build the story of relation with Allah Azza wa Jal. This is the meaning of biography of Ishaq. This is the meaning of stories of Prophet and uh, messengers, may Allah Azza wa Jal give them all his mercy and his peace. So, Ishaq was the prophet whose angels bring his news about him. No one know him. No one know what's going to him. But the angels bring the real news about him. And this is common point between Ishaq and his son Jesus. Also Jesus alayhi salam, the angels, the angels told his mother Mary that you will have this blessing prophet, you will have this blessing messenger, you will have this blessing human. So, وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ إِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ نَافِلَةً وَكُلًّا جَعَلْنَا مِنَ الصَّالِحِينَ And Allah Azza wa Jal said in Surah Al-An'am, Ayah number 84. Surah Al-An'am, Ayah number 84. وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ إِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ كُلًّا هَدَيْنَا وَنُوحًا هَدَيْنَا مِنْ قَبْلِ So we bestowed upon him, Isaac and Jacob, each one of them we guided to the right path. Each one of them we, ra we, we guided to the right path. And, area, uh, and early before that, we guided Nuh and of his progeny, progeny. We guided Dawood and Suleiman and Ayyub and Yusuf and Musa and Harun. All of them we reward. Why? Why we, we reward them? Why Allah chose them? Why Allah gave them the prophecy? Why Allah gave them this high rank? In this way, we reward 
the good in deeds. In this way, we reward the doers of good. Really, uh, this is translation not give the full meaning of muhsinin. Muhsinin is high level of moral. Muhsinin is high level of spirituality. Allah said, in this way, we reward the muhsinin. Who are the muhsinin? Who are the muhsinin? The muhsinin, those are the people who has level more than believer, more than mu'minin. So, in general, we have three categories. We have muslimin, we have mu'minin, we have muhsinin. Muslim, the first category. They testify that there is no Allah and the Prophet Muhammad and they believe in unity of God and follow the five pillars of Islam. This is muslimin. But when they feel this in their heart, when they start to feel their Lord, when they start to feel their prayer, when they start to feel the word of Allah, now they move to another ring. They become believers, mu'minin. But when this mu'minin have very high level of moral, very high level of spirituality, now they became muhsinin. So Allah Azza wa Jal gave those people, Allah Azza wa Jal gave to Abraham, Ishaq, and Yaqub. And Allah guided all of them. Why? Because they are only Muslim? No. Because they are only believer? No. Because they are muhsinin. I, I, I wish I have a word uh, for muhsinin. One word in English. Uh, most of the, the translation, they give many words. They said good in deeds. They said the, the doers of good. But really, muhsinin is something above of this. Those people, as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa told us about Muhsineen, that to worship Allah as you watching him, seeing him. You are in high level of shuhud, watching. So if you are not in this, you believe that he is watching you. He is seeing you. So, This is muhsinin. You are in this level in Iman. So, if someone muhsin, how is his prayer? If he believes that Allah is watching him or he is watching Allah, how is his prayer? How is his recitation to the Quran? How is his teaching to the people? How is his situation? Really, it will be completely something else. For this reason, Allah said, in this way, we reward the muhsinin. Oh Allah, help us to be from al muhsinin Oh Allah, from your generosity, from your mercy, make us from al muhsinin This is what we should do when we recite every verses of the Quran. Why Allah told us that in this way I reward the muhsinin First of all, to make an application, to ask Allah to be from those who are muhsinin And after that, Allah keep talking and keep giving and keep uh, helping us about what he gave to Ibrahim. In Surah Al-Anbiya, ayah number 72, Allah said, وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ وَوَهَبْنَا لَهُ إِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ نَافِلَةً We uh, gifted him We gave to him what Ishaq and Yaqub as a gift. And each one of them, we made righteous. وَكُلًّا جَعَلْنَا صَالِحِينَ This is the meaning of the children. If your children is not righteous, you waste your money. You waste your effort. You waste your time. You waste all of these. Today, people take care about the clothes of their 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 uh, children take care about the uh, school of their children take care about the college you find them very worried which college this college he take an application he take approvement but what about their iman what about their school of faith okay okay sheikh uh, it's okay we send him to school to memorize quran and to make tajweed we are deceiving ourselves I am sorry to say this. 
we are deceiving ourselves. We have to choose to our children the school of faith. The school build his iman. The school build his faith. Otherwise, sooner or later, and we hear about a lot in our society. We hear about a lot people who suicide, people who did this and this, people who smoking this and this, people, a lot. And uh, furthermore, the society try to cover all this story. Why? Because there is no real iman. They, and this is what we want. Iman is to firm you on the straight way. This is what help you. This is what protect you. Allah Azza wa Jal gifted Ibrahim with his two great children and grandchildren. And what is the main thing? وَجَعَلْنَا وَكُلَّنْ جَعَلْنَا صَالِحِينَ And both of them, we made صَالِحِينَ honest. We made صَالِحِينَ righteous. We made صَالِحِينَ good people in their moral, in their iman, in their acting, in their life. And after that, وَجَعَلْنَاهُمْ أَئِمَّةً يَهْدُونَ بِأَمْرِنَا And we made them imams who guided people under our command. So who is the imam? The imam who guided the people. Today I just watch the people giving names, giving titles. This imam, this uh, so-and-so, this. But where is the reality of this? Where is the reality of this name? If you are imam, that means you guide the people to the straight way. This is ayah number 73 in Surah Al-Anbiya. And we made them imams. So what is the main issue of the imam? What is the, 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 the main mission of the imam? The imam who guided the people. Guided the people under the command and the inspired of Allah Azza wa Jal. Help them to make good deeds. Guide them to, to make good deeds. Guide them to establish real prayer. Yes, real prayer. Because there are two things. Someone offer the prayer. Prayer for rak'ah, on the time, direction of qibla, pure clothes, pure place. All of these is Uh, to offer the prayer but establish a prayer that mean you establish this prayer to make dhikr with Allah you establish this prayer to connect with Allah you establish this prayer to prevent you and put you away from shameful things and deeds this is the meaning of establishing Prayer. Prayer is a school. And this is school. Every time you enter this school, you have to get something in you. And if you didn't get, that means you, you, you waste your time. If someone uh, went to school and when he come back, we ask him, what did you learn today? Nothing. Oh, what you did? Why you went to school? Prayer is a school. And we get every time Something new in our religion, in our relation, in our connection with Allah, when we establish this prayer. And this will not be without a teacher. This will not be without real dhikr to Allah Azza wa Jal. And we order them to make good things and establish a prayer and give the charity and And their situation was worshipping their Lord, worshipping this God. This is how Allah described the family. This is how Allah described to us the way we should live. This is the way Allah described to us how to build our community, how to build our society, how to build our world. When the companion of a Prophet Muhammad understand this, they establish the greatest kingdom anyone can imagine in the history of a humanity. It's amazing if you compare this, how it spread the peace, how it spread the nur, how it spread the knowledge, how it cooperate, how it elaborate, 
how it gives the freedom of the people to live in great and in, in best situation. وجعلناهم أئمة يهدون بأمرنا وأوحينا إليهم فعل الخيرات وإقام الصلاة وإتاء الزكاة وكانوا لنا عابدين. And after that, Allah Azza wa Jal mentioned to us in Surah Maryam, Ayah number 49, about the good news, about the great news. فلما اعتزلهم وما يعبدون من دون الله وهبنا له إسحاق ويعقوب وكلا جعلنا نبيا. So when he went away from his people and what they worship instead of Allah, we placed him with Ishaq and Yaqub and we made each one of them a prophet. These ayat is very important. These ayat is very important. Why? Because this ayat make it clear from the first point Allah told Ibrahim that he will have Ishaq and Yaqub. He will have Ishaq and his children Yaqub. So this is give great meaning, no meaning to have a difference. Who is the one who will slaughter? You know, because he know that Ishaq will have a son. It has no meaning to go, take him and slaughter. It's, it's not a play, it's not a show. From the first point, Ismail is the one who, it doesn't different. We love Ismail, we love Ishaq, and both of them are blessed prophet, and both of them are the son of Ibrahim, and both of them we love and we respect. But we have to seek the truth, not to say this or this because of politics, because of uh, interest religion, because of... No, we want to seek the truth from the beginning. And it's in the Bible and it's in the Old Testament. There are connection between Ishaq and Yaqub. And the good tidings about two, the son and the uh, children at the same time. But in Ismail, there is nothing from this. And also, there is a lot of story that Ishaq has a woman and he didn't have the children and also make similar story between Ishaq and Ibrahim. I don't think it is true because he knows that he will have children. It, it has no meaning. But Ibrahim doesn't know the first time he has this news when the angels came to him and told him and give him this good news. So, it has no meaning to have these differences about those prophets and messengers. And what is more important for all the people who are children of Ishaq and Yaqub, who are children of Jesus and Musa and Muhammad sallallahu alayhim ajma'in, it's for all of them to uh, understand that they are under the umbrella of Allah Azza wa Jal. All of them are brothers and sisters in this religion and is in this way of life. May Allah give you khair and afia. May Allah accept from all of you. May Allah help us to follow his real knowledge. Walhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Al-Fatiha. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأفضل الصلاة وأتم التسليم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ربنا أعنا على دوام ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك ولا تجعلنا من الغافلين هب لنا من أزواجنا وذرياتنا وأحبابنا وتلامزتنا قرة أعين واجعلنا للمتقين إماما سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين الفاتحة